Welcome. Today we're going to talk about 12 snakes of the Mississippi River. Please subscribe for more amazing content. For more information on this, check out the link below in the description. The Mississippi River runs from Minnesota down the center of the country, 2,350 miles, to Louisiana where it pours into the Gulf of Mexico. It is a major commercial waterway for people and home to many species of wildlife that live in and around the river habitat. Fish are plentiful, like largemouth bass, walleye, and catfish, big ones, and so are waterfowl like wood ducks, Canadian geese, and sandhill cranes. What about snakes? What kind of snakes make their home around the Mississippi River? There is one species that spends most of its time in the river, another species that plays dead when threatened, and yes, there are poisonous snakes that live around the Mississippi. Let's meet 12 snakes of the Mississippi River. Northern Water Snake the northern water snake is one of the snakes that lives in the Mississippi River. It can be found swimming along the shoreline and slithering through the brush along the river. They are a thick-bodied, non-venomous snake, about two to three feet long. They are a variety of colors, but the most common ones have a dark brown or gray base color with small, thin, reddish-brown bands. Their bellies are light in color. Northern water snakes can use their long bodies to circle around small fish and tadpoles in the Mississippi and then eat them all in one bite. Plains Hognose Snake Western Hognose Snake The Plains Hognose Snake is a unique snake of the Mississippi River area that plays dead when threatened. They actually have a dramatic series of cards to play if they feel threatened. First, they will rise up and act tough hissing and lurching. If that doesn't work, they will literally play dead. They lie on their backs with the black belly exposed, throw their head back, and even let their tongue dangle out the side of their mouth. Very dramatic. These are non-venomous snakes that can get to be one to three feet long and have a base color of tan with distinct dark brown blotches along the back. They get their name from the turned up nose that they use for digging in the soil along the Mississippi River banks. Eastern Hognose Snake The Eastern Hognose is similar to the Western Hognose with a slightly different range. These snakes are also known as Puff Adder because they can puff out their head and neck to make them look like they have the collar of a cobra. If their impressive cobra impression is not threatening enough, they will try the play dead strategy like the Western Hognose. These heavy bodied snakes are about the same size as the Western Hognose, one to three feet long. The Eastern Hognose has a larger range found in the eastern half of the United States, including along the Mississippi River. Bull Snake The bull snake is a thick-bodied, long snake that can get to be 8 feet long. They have a base color that is cream-colored with dark brown markings along its back. West of the Mississippi, these snakes are sometimes called gopher snakes. Bull snakes have some acting skills as well and will pretend to be rattlesnakes. They will coil their body, puff out their head to make it look triangular, and rattle their tail against loose rocks or dirt to make a noise like a rattle. If you see a bull snake, it is best to slowly back away because they are an aggressive snake and will bite. Their bites will hurt, but they are not poisonous. Eastern Milk Snake Eastern milk snakes are two to three feet long and a thinner snake around the size of a garden hose. They have unique pattern scales in shades of tan, gray, black, orange, or red, and prefer to be left alone. While they are not particularly dangerous, they can appear similar to a variety of other potentially poisonous snakes. Eastern Yellow-Bellied Racer Eastern yellow-bellied racers do not try to act or look like other snakes. If they are threatened, they run. Technically, they slither. These thin snakes are fast, like other racer snakes. Although they are eastern yellow-bellied racers, they are found west of the Mississippi River, mostly in Missouri, with the river being the most eastern edge of their range. Western yellow-bellied racers live along the coast of California, up to Canada, and as far east as the edge of Montana and Wyoming. These snakes are all one color, usually olive green to gray with a, you guessed it, yellow belly. They are a thinner snake that grows to two and a half to four feet. Northern Red Belly Snake 
Let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. Yes, these snakes do have a red belly. Their base color is a uniformed reddish brown with three dots behind the head. You will not get this snake mixed up with the red-bellied black snake because of the obvious size difference and the fact that they are only found in Australia. Red-bellied black snakes are venomous, medium-bodied, and about four feet long. Northern red belly snakes that live along the banks of the Mississippi are only 8 to 10 inches long. These little snakes feed on the insects, earthworms, and slugs. Western Fox Snake The western fox snake doesn't try to act like other snakes, but it does smell like another animal. It got its name because if it feels threatened or is handled, it will release a foul smell that smells like a red fox. They are a thick-bodied snake that can reach 5 feet long. Their base color is tan to light brown, and they have distinct dark brown blotches all the way down their back. The head of the western fox snake is all bronze in color. Texas Brown Snake The state of Texas does not border the Mississippi River, but the range of the Texas brown snake extends east of Texas across the river. While Texas likes to boast about being the biggest state in the lower 48, it can't boast about the size of the Texas brown snake. These little snakes don't get much bigger than one foot long and are skinny too. They are all brown with some being tan or more reddish. If they are threatened, they will coil up and strike multiple times. However, their mouths are not big enough to bite humans. Plains Garter Snake the Mississippi River cuts through the Great Plains of the U.S. with much of the land surrounding the river used as farmland. The Plains Garter Snake prefers wet meadows and marshes along the river. They have a base color of olive green with a bright yellow stripe that goes down their back. Plains Garter Snakes are about 1 to 2 feet long and a medium thickness. If they are threatened, they don't show it, and they are less likely to bite even when handled. If they did get annoyed and bite, they are not poisonous. Eastern Garter Snake Eastern garter snakes look very similar to plains garter snakes with the difference being where their stripes are located. Snakes have rows of scales. Garter snakes have stripes that go all the way down the back and sides. Eastern garter snakes have their lower stripes closer to the ground. They are also a little longer and skinnier than plains garter snakes and have a white jawline. Timber Rattlesnake Now for the most dangerous snake on our list, the timber rattlesnake is poisonous. It has fangs that produce venom, so it is technically venomous, that is harmful to humans. Sometimes called a cane break, they are a heavy-bodied snake and the largest venomous snake in many states. They are not as big as the Eastern Diamondback, which is the largest venomous snake in America, some being 6 feet long and weighing 15 pounds. Timber rattlesnakes grow to be 3 to 5 feet long and have a tan base color with dark brown blotches. As pit vipers, they have two small holes or pits on the side of their head which are used as a sensing tool. They have a triangular head and a rattle at the end of the tail. If threatened, they will coil their body, raise the front of their body, rattle their tail, and flip down their fangs. They can fold up for storage. Although you won't find timber rattlesnakes at the headwaters of the Mississippi River, they don't live quite that far north. They live in southern Minnesota, along the Mississippi down to the Gulf. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to give your opinion, comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we will see you next time.